morning everybody it is Friday of uh, Memorial Day weekend and I am heading up to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to the Porcupine Mountains I'm going to be doing some hiking some camping some solo camping as a matter of fact and some photography and it I'm not sure if you can hear it but it is pouring rain outside right now and I did get a phone call from the Michigan DNR saying that quite possibly my campsite could be washed out so I'm going I will figure out a plan once I get up there if I can't camp whether that be sleeping in my car uh, at the campsite or finding an alternative campsite I don't know but we're heading up there uh, my first stop is probably going to be Bond Falls and then I'll head to um, my campsite and then um, I will head to Lake of the Clouds later in the evening to photograph the sunset there. So that's my plan and as I mentioned I am going solo. I probably have overpacked in my car because I'm a little bit nervous. Um, uh, you know I, I did solo camping in Door County but uh, the Upper Peninsula is a little bit more rugged. I don't have cell phone service up there. I have Sprint, which is apparently like non-existent existent in the Upper Peninsula. So, um, you know, last time I was up there, like we were lucky we were able to uh, use GPS to guide us to um, our locations. And so I'm gonna plan on staying in the uh, Porcupine Mountains the entire time. Like I don't plan on leaving, so that's kind of helpful in a way um, all roads lead to somewhere in the <laughs> in the state park so um, but yeah I definitely want to hit Presque Isle um, waterfalls that are right there there's many waterfalls in the Porcupine Mountains so just lots of do lots to see um, I've overpacked as I mentioned I'm fizzling out at the end of this as I always do Blah. everybody so after a seven and a half hour drive through Chicago rush hour traffic I am here at Ottawa National Forest in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan in Ontagonon if I'm saying that correctly County and I am about to head to Bond Falls to photograph the waterfall so I will see you down there I don't have to party to have fun you see I got different hobbies and that's all I need some say life is boring, but I disagree I wake up and in my dream Someday soon, I'm gonna make it, yeah Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you can hear me, but the water is flowing so significantly that um, there's no like articulation anywhere that I think I'm gonna be able to get um, between the falls and the rocks. I'm gonna try <laughs> to take an image. The good news is it's rainy, it's misty. I think the mist is actually from the waterfall, but it's cloudy. So, I mean, I don't know if you know this, but I don't have ND filters of any kind, except for I have a polarizer, and that's typically what I use to shoot my waterfalls with. Um, so I just usually use a small aperture and my polarizer <laughs> to uh, reduce the light and slow down the shutter speed. So I've walked around this waterfall. I haven't really found a composition that I care for. So, you know, you want to get like a foreground, a midground, a background um, to create depth and interest in your uh, pictures. But I think this is going to be a straight on shot. We shall see, guys. We shall see. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna take another loop around the waterfall and see what I can find.
Okay, I thought I'd give you a little tour of my tent. It is the Meyer tent, two person. And I've got it opened up, I've got it hooked up, and then just set up for me for sleeping tonight. Got my little lantern. It's really windy, super windy. I had a hard time setting this up because there was a video to watch and then there was no signal here. I mean, it's pretty intuitive though. I've just never seen like spikes that don't have hooks before. Okay guys, so I am laying in my tent right now. It's so dark out. Um, I've got my little two-person tent. I'm like perfectly comfortable in it. I am not sure how my husband would fit in this tent with me or like anybody else really. We would be like spooning, like it's so tight. Um, but perfect for one person. Like, it's just perfect. Let me turn this light. All right, hi guys, I'm holding up my light, my light here. Um, I am about to go to bed. It's about 10 o'clock Michigan time and I am in my little tent and um, it's a two person tent and it's perfect for one person. I don't know, like, I mean, you could squeeze somebody else in here, um, but you know, I got like all my junk that I brought in this tent with me. Granted, it's a backpacking tent. So like, um, you know, you'd probably put your packs outside in this vestibule here. And then like, I don't know if I've like, we probably need to like really tighten up some of these walls so that they're not like collapsing in so much I guess but any hoosie um here we go <sighs> what a beautiful day I cannot wait to take some sunrise shots tomorrow uh, I think it's gonna be gorgeous and epic hopefully I don't know what the weather's gonna be it is so windy right now you guys so wind so it is so windy right now, so we shall see how this tent holds up and if the stakes hold up today, but it is gusty. Um, super gusty. All right, I, I'm like super exhausted, so I'm gonna head to bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.